Okay, how's it going guys? Connor just here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Stones. Last time things happened. This time more things are gonna happen. So uh, yeah, we're currently here in this town is called Amber Forge City. And we pretty much explored this entire place except for this academy. So we're gonna go do that. And then after that, I was taking a look at the map. Uh, where was it at? Poke Gear map. Okay. So, uh, it seems like going to the right will lead us to 104. And that'll take us to either Windvale or to Diadem Village. But before we go that way, we're gonna go up this way to 103 and then to Shaman Shrine to do the side quest with the, uh, with the birds. And then if we go south, we go to the underground mine, Carleton facility, and then the Carleton canyons. I don't know if we can go there yet, but we're gonna try. So uh, that's kind of what's on our to-do list. Anyways, uh, let's check out this academy. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> don't care about the balls. I saw the what snorting some what? He did a, he did a, <laughs> he did a what, where dude? Hold on now. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay then. Apparently this teacher uh, has a drug problem. A lot of different status conditions. The different major set of, uh, okay, yeah. I know about that, I'm a, I'm a smart person. I know that stuff. I have a crush on that girl, Alana. She's the girl that sits in the top right corner of the opposite side of the classroom. I have a note saying I like her, but I was too shy to give it to her. Uh, do you want me to give, give the letter to her? What? No, you can't do that. Sorry, I'm just really shy. <laughs> oh, poor Lenny, dude. Wait, that isn't a bad idea. Will you give this love letter to Elena? No, I was messing with you. <laughs> sure, kid. Why not? All right, dude. I got you, Lenny. Don't worry. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna feel bad if she rejects Lenny, dude. Don't reject my boy Lenny. He's worked hard for this. Wait, what? Uh, I don't, okay. Use his hip, oh Jesus. Okay. Okay, it's definitely this one. Can I help you? I'm trying to work on my math homework here. What's that? You have something for me. Oh, let me see what it is. Oh, um, this is kind of odd, isn't it? Oh no, oh God, no. <laughs> I barely know who you are. Whoa, what? <laughs> Whoa, wait, <laughs> the, what the hell did that letter say? It has some obvious plagiarism <laughs> lines from Shakespeare and signs off as your secret admirer. You mean this isn't from you? Oh, God, no. <laughs> that kid lady wanted me to give it to you. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Like, everyone in our class knows about Lily Lenny's crush on me. Oh, no, Lenny. Comes off as shy, but it's blatantly obvious. Something tells me he isn't going to fess up until I confront him about it. An astute observation, little girl. All right, I guess I have to go talk to him during recess. Yes, you do that. All right. Should I go tell Letty? <laughs> uh, did you give Alana my love letter? Oh, you told Alana? Uh, what'd she say? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Uh, I should tell him the truth, right? She says she's going to talk to you about your letter during recess. She's busy with her trigonometry homework right now. <laughs> Soliloquy. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that head, I might touch that cheek. What? What? <laughs> My thoughts exactly, dude. What? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you for giving Alana the love letter. I'm looking forward to talking to her at recess. In the meantime, let me give you this as a token of my appreciation. Ah, oh, I got the DM for a tract. Makes sense. Am I ever going to find... And I got a thousand gold. Sick. Love letter. All right. Uh, am I ever going to find out what happens between these two? I kind of want to know. <laughs> I'm invested in this relationship now, dude. I have to know if my boy Lenny succeeded. 
or if he's gonna get rejected and then I'm gonna have to uh, uh I don't know I feel bad though I'm invested in this now oh is this the teacher with the drug problem hi attention students children's eyes please on me I want you listening uh teaching is hard even harder because one of these pesky kids keeps stealing some of my my medication oh yeah <laughs> the good stuff I really need to um concentrate I can't teach if I don't have my um medication I'm very disoriented right now but it might be because I took too much dosage during my lunch break hey man what kind of medication are you talking about exactly <laughs> uh listen are you gonna help me find my medication or not sure dude thanks it's a white powdery substance and this is medication you say uh yes <laughs> it's my prescription uh-huh likely story hey stop judging me and just keep it quiet and don't tell the principal about it under any circumstances teacher's medication oh boy hey, i found some leftovers dude sick was not expecting to find that okay which one of you has his medication is it you alana okay fine i'll go talk to lenny jesus girls have to do everything these days <laughs> Okay, I was just wondering if you had the man's medication. Who here has the medication? Is it you? Did you steal his white substance? His white powdery substance? You? Which one of you kids has the... I don't care. Do you have the medication or not? I'm gonna guess no. Who has the medication? Is it you? Is it you? Tetris. You? Which one of these kids has it, dude? Where's the white stuff? Is it in one of these bowls? That looks like white stuff. Is it in this cup? Dude, I don't know which one of these kids has your powder. Is it the Hypno? Did you take it? No? Dang it. Dude, how am I supposed to know which one of these kids has your stuff? I haven't checked this one yet, I don't think. I checked this one. Dude, I talked to all these kids, I'm pretty sure. None of them have the white stuff. I supposed to be inside this wall I'm I'm literally inside the wall right now okay dude uh yeah dude, I don't know where his white stuff is I don't know I'll come find it later maybe off screen I don't know where it's I talked to all the kids none of them had it do you have it no okay well I tried all right well that's enough of that let's go ahead and go to uh 103 deal with this bird problem what can we find around here hold on uh doesn't seem like any regionals i doubt that yeah no yeah no regionals so i don't care so repel oh i found the birds the bird Pokemon near the birdhouse have whipped into a frenzy. Oh, the heck was that? Oh, hi, boo. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why they're in a frenzy, dude. They see a freaking ghost. All right, uh, well, let's deal with this thing real quick. You're gonna live with one HP, really? Okay. You guys good? They seem to have flown off. Perhaps Calm has returned to the shrine. Perhaps. Is that really it? I was expecting more than that. That was a Froki up there, dude. Do you see that? Look at that thing just chilling like it's nobody's business. It's not a regional, I don't think, so I don't really care about it, but it's crazy that it's there. What the heck are you doing over here in this corner? Apparently you're going to battle me. I don't know why you're all course you're sitting all the way over here in this corner, but okay. Please don't please don't please one shot it, dude. Oh, it's gonna counter me! I know it! Oh, it didn't counter me. Oh, thank the heavens, dude. I thought he was gonna counter me for sure. Oh, I thought it was so done, dude. Oh man. 
Vigoroth. Vigoroth, Vigoroth. Cole, handle him. Please don't have a, gr uh, a fighting attack or a ground attack. I don't think it should. I'm gonna go for Rock Blast. Yeah, Slash. I could take Slashes all day, dude. Especially when they get the flame body off. One, two, two! You're gonna give me two? Aw, oh, dude. I deserve way more than two. Look at that, he gets four. I get two. One, two, three. It's all I need, oh, okay, it's all I needed. I can't believe he lived that, but it's all I needed. The burn finished him. Oh man, Sock. Oh, is this thing also gonna try to counter? I'm gonna go for Cyber, dude. Cyber just has Psybeam. Can't counter Psybeam. That's fine. Cybird can handle him. Stop it! Stop hurting my Cybird, dude. Dope. Baneary. Baneary, 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 Baneary. Uh. Cole should be able to handle this. I believe in you, buddy. Watch this thing have high jump kick and just destroy me. Oh, I knew it! It wasn't high jump kick, but it was a regular jump kick. Didn't do too much, though. Can I get a, a three-shot finish? Three-shot finish. I'll take it. It's just a Baneary. That was a lot, but it'd be a lot more scary. All right. Uh, are there any grottos around here, maybe? Uh, it doesn't look like it so far. Is that an item? No. It's just grass. It's just grass. Ah, dude. Feel the burn. How about no? Slugma. This is fine. This is fine, because I'm going to one-shot it. Dang. Onyx? Uh... Sh -sh 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 -sh. Man, we need Link Stones, and we need them now. Need two Link Stones, so I can get a Gigalith and a Golem. And of course you have Sturdy. And of course you're going to hit me with Rock Slide, and of course I'm going to live! Of course, all of that was to plan. E Temple, have we seen E Temple? I don't think we have, but I would think it'd still be water. Maybe, like maybe it'd only lose the ground typing. Um, uh, I'm gonna go to Flash. What is E Temple? Okay, I don't know what you are. You look like you could be grass now. I'm just gonna crunch him to be safe. We're not weak to grass, so it's fine. But it looked a little green. E Ponyta! Have we seen E Ponyta? Oh, you're fire type. I remember now. No, no. You Wait. Wait. I don't remember. No, you're ice type. Duh. Ice type. Wait. I don't remember. Hold on. I don't remember what the heck E Ponyta is. If we've even seen it before. I feel like I've definitely seen it. I don't know, though, dude. Oh, there's a uh, what's his face? I didn't know he was gonna. Okay, so I guess we have to go over here because Emil's over there. That's his name, right, Emil? Uh, just making sure I'm not missing anything. Is there something in here? Nope. What was the point of that bridge area? Literally, what was the point of that? It just leads me back over here. Oh, hold on. Well, there's more bridge. Oh, it's a grotto right there. Red shard. Nice. Hello. What is it? It's a drift blim and a bunch of berries. Is this E drift blim? Or is it regular drift blim? It's shiny drift blim. Shiny drift blim looks pretty cool, but I don't want shiny drift blim. I want E Drift Blim. Is there an E Drift Blim? I don't even know if there is an E Drift Blim, but if there is, I want it. I don't want Shiny Drift Even though Shiny Drift Blim does look pretty cool, I don't want it. I want Epoch Variants, not Shinies. All right. So we got a DB. Let me just uh, make sure we're healed and ready to go.
I'll put Cybert out front. That guy's got great eyesight. These are some steep hills. My pack is too heavy. If I win, will you carry it? No, dude. I don't got time to carry your bag. Tell the other backpacker to do it, dude. Some regular Machop and Geodude. That Geodude has got to go. That Geodude cannot stay here, dude. It has to go. You need to leave. Dang. Okay. Why would you vital... Th There's a dark type right here, and you're going to vital throw the psychic type? What is wrong with you? How are you that dumb? This thing isn't ground, right? I think Nose Pass is just pure... Uh... Pretty sure it's pure rock. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Knock off. Okay, that's a smarter thing. Didn't do too much, but that was definitely the smarter idea there. Let's get rid of this rock and rolla. You're also pure rock. I'm gonna do that. Nice. The spark should take out the Machop. Nice. Makuhita. Beldum. Uh, not too worried about the Beldum, so we'll do that. And that. In case the Psy Beam doesn't finish. But it did. And now we get to crunch the Beldum, which is perfect. Look at that, the double knockout deal. I'll take it. It's probably because we're like five levels ahead, but, you know, it's fine. And all you have is a tie rogue. It's not a fake. Oh, okay. Okay, dude. Can we not? Oh, okay. The spark is going to finish him. Fantastic. I can really feel it in my quads. So much for sharing the load. I don't want any of your load, dude. Hello? I didn't have surfs. Okay. Uh, all right, let's talk to Emil, I guess. Hi, Emil. Mark, it's about time you got here. I've been waiting a while for you to catch up. So here we are. Route 103? No, dummy. The Shrine of Shaman. Uh, what? <laughs> this is a dead end. What did I say when we were down in my grandfather's study? I say that the Shrine of Shaman will only reveal itself to a true Soul Keeper. I don't see anything overly special here other than a bunch of trees. Well, the map says that it should be right here. The map must be older than your grandfather. We have no idea if we're even remotely close to the Shrine or not. That's what I thought, until I saw this. Move aside. Look at the- look on the tr look on this tree's bark. What do you see? I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like the outline of a Gersidia flower. It can't be a coincidence. Okay, fine. You found the symbol. Didn't that inscription say it would only reveal to those who hold the sacred charge or something like that? Yes. So you're a soul keeper. You hold the sacred charge. Why isn't the entryway opening? Huh. I have an idea. The soul stones are the key. Eureka! I found it! Son of a... <laughs> God dang it, dude. Hey. Mark, thank you for coming this far with me. Admittedly, I don't know what comes next. I was kind of hoping Shaman would just, you know, <laughs> be here waiting for us. You know, Emil, I could be more annoyed with you with your harebrained plans, but I can understand what an awkward position you're in. It's not every day you get told that you're some sort of royalty and have a powerful artifact that can control the weather. Shaman's talking, dude! Can't be used to control the weather, silly. Uh, what was that? Yeah, why are you talking, dude? Hi, Emil. Uh, you know my name? Of course I do. You're my soul bond. <laughs> You're my what? <laughs> oh dear, it seems like you have not been prepared for this at all, have you? No, Shaman, I don't know what's going on. I came here looking for answers. 
I was hoping you can help fill in on the blanks. My grandfather told me a lot about a lot of stories, but I always thought he was <laughs> I always thought he was just crazy. <laughs> I always thought he was just losing his mind because he was old. I miss uh how do you pronounce that? Maurizio? I miss Maurizio. He was a good soul keeper, much better than the others. He at least tried to preserve his knowledge. Yes, Maurizio. That was my grandfather. I will tell you all, but first, I need to do something. We are being watched. Ow! <laughs> Why would you hit me, dude? What was that for? Shaman, what are you doing? Cleansing Mark. Cleansing me! Now, whatever was listening to us or tracking us can't track us anymore. Y'all's being tracked? Who's tracking me? Seriously? They can't hear us anymore? Nope. I pink... Shaman, you don't even have pinkies, dude. <laughs> Does Shaman even have a pinky? I doubt it. Well, yeah, if I had any pinkies. Mark, what is Shaman talking about? Emil, if what Shaman says is right, I can finally be open with you. This is an incredibly long story, but my employer was asking me to gain your trust and deceive you. They want to learn more about the Soul Stone and wanted me to try to reclaim the artifact from you. Mark, no! <laughs> I'm sorry. They were threatening to do bad things to me if I didn't cooperate. You tell Emil and Shaman what you know of the agency and your role in the current timeline. You inform them of the precarious position that you were put into by the agency and how they forced you into being duplicious with Emil from the beginning. I don't understand. Why is my soul stone suddenly of so much interest to so many people? Zerus and his shadow council? Mark's agency? What is going on? I knew I sensed something amiss about Mark, but this is something that even I didn't foresee. Fortunately, I am confident that my cleansing power has purified Mark of their agency's remote control over them. You will need to be extra cautious because up until this point, even I didn't realize there was another party that would have any interest in the outcome of this conflict between the Circle of Soul Keepers and the Order of Watchers. Emil, it is ultimately your call, but I suggest that we trust Mark for now. Well, this is a lot to take in, all, take in all at once. I went from having a Shadow Priest that used my Soul Stone to control a Thunderous, and now being pursued by a group of time-traveling spy police. <laughs> but I think I have to trust Mark here. It's a really elaborate story to make up, and that kind of Pokemon battling power slash technique is definitely something out of the ordinary. The fact that Mark was able to fend off Zerus and his pet Thunderous on the terrace of Stonecrest Museum and save my life, I think I have to trust Mark right now. Mark, please don't make me regret this. Shaman, do you agree? I support your decision, Emil. Mark has demonstrated a character I admire. If they were around during the time of the Great Fracture, I'm positive that he would have been entrusted to be a Soul Keeper too. Oh, sick, dude. I don't have time for that, though. Uh, what is the Great Fracture? I read about this in my grandfather's tomb, or tome. Wait, I believe we will soon have company. Oh, dude. Emil, go along with this. Mark, we don't make it out of this in one piece. We will need to entrust you with saving us. Find Tarakian! Hold on! Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, hi. Shaman squeals in pain. Damn. Good work on tracking down the Soul Keeper and a Shaman, Mark. I knew we could trust you to complete your mission. Mark, who's this? Agents, apprehend the Soul Keeper and a Shaman immediately. Secure the Soul Stone. Oh, damn. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Do not resist, Soul Keeper. Spencer, what are you doing? I never said you would hurt them. I made no such assurances. The Soul Keeper and his shaman are in possession of a dangerous weapon. They'll be taken into custody immediately. <laughs> Mark, you treacherous snake. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Did you have to tase him? We couldn't be certain. He had a mythical Pokemon with him. All right, you got the Soul Keeper and his shaman. Now will you tell me what the whole plan is? I need to make sure we can trust you. I appreciate your cooperation in this. 
I understand you befriended him, but rest assured, Emil and his shaman shall come to no further harm for now. Assuming he cooperates during the interrogation, you're going to interrogate him? What are you going to interrogate him for? You've been remotely observing me with your satellites, haven't you? You should know by now that he knows nothing. Let's just say, we anticipate the canary will sing now that we have his shaman. Alright, well, what now? Agent Cameron is waiting for you at Amberforge Mine with your next assignment. Don't keep him waiting. Damn, dude, these guys are vicious. <laughs> ah! Alright. Well, so much for that. Alright, I guess to the mines we go. Real quick, there's nothing, uh, yeah. I thought that maybe I missed something, didn't look like it. Alright. Well, to the mines we go. We still have this egg. It's supposed to be a fairy egg. Don't know if it's Epoch Fairy or... That's a cool looking egg, dude. Not gonna lie, that egg is pretty cool. Not sure if it's gonna be an Epoch variant. I hope it is. I doubt it'll be, though. Oh, well. Uh, Alright. Well, let's heal up. Uh, I might pause real quick because I want to try to find out where that teacher's uh, <clears throat> medication is. And then we'll continue on and go to the mines. So yeah, I'm going to pause here, see if we can find that guy's medication. And if we can't, oh well, I'll head off to the mines. So, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back and I found it. It was right here, behind this computer in the top corner. It's apparently bright powder. <laughs> Oh yeah, powder's very bright, all right. Oh, thank God you found it. I blew almost all my last paycheck on this dosage. Yeah, sure, have your medication. I'm so relieved. I know what I can give you as a reward. Some medication? Oh, do these Pokemon suck? Mmm. -hmm. These Pokemon suck, dude. I doubt those are Epoch variants. Dude. I don't want your shitty Pokemon. I mean, I guess I can check, but I doubt that Ropot, that Rotom, Rotom's an Epoch variant. Yeah, it's just regular Rotom, which normally I would love. I would love Rotom, but now I'm not in a game full of Epoch variants. I don't. So uh, yeah, well we did that, and I also forgot to go get a reward for the other two quests we have. So it's first talk to you. It was just a ghost Pokemon rolling up the nearby birds. That explains why they're getting so freaked out. Okay. What is it? A shell bell. Okay. Cool. And 2,000 gold. Nice. All right. Let's go and talk to the lady about the hooligans. I think she lived here. Yes. Did you get rid of those hooligans? You beat them? Thank you. I'm so relieved. Hopefully this will buy my family the short... Reprieve we need us we needed for us to sell the house and go back to Sirius City. Uh, about that, they mentioned something about you embezzling from the mine. Huh, Marcus told you that story too. The bastard's trying to tarnish my reputation. I ought to sue him for slander. He's just disgruntled because I realized he'd been selling his drugs to other mine workers while on the clock. So you do know him and his crew? Yes, I do. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this earlier. But I didn't think telling a stranger all the all that history was important to know. In any case, I'm fed up with the city now. The dependence that the city has on the mine makes me uncomfortable when I come from a large, advanced city like Sirius City. I realize it was time for my family to move back to where I'm from, where I'm from, where there are far more opportunities. Uh, sure. I got a miracle seed for believing her. And 5,000 gold, so I'm going to say it's worth it. Wow. Jeez, lady, chill. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I got a reward out of it. All right, well, to the mines we go. Hopefully we can get a nice ground type of the Epoch variety. Ooh, this place looks nice. Yeah, there's not even any encounters in here, dude. This is a rip. Come on, almost there. Oh man, the 
Fourth one today. Oh, hey there. You may have been wondering what I was doing. See this rock over by me? Or at least, what's left of it. It had some treasure. Well, maybe. I don't know, the damn thing collapsed on me. The rocks down here are all full of rare items. All you need is a pickaxe and hammer to try and excavate whatever you can. Just be careful, if you're too hasty, the rock will collapse on itself, and you won't get anything. Here, I have an extra kit handy. Take one. Oh, sick, dude. Alright, I'm gonna do this off-screen, because I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want the entire episode to be filled with mining. Simply walk up to any of these glowing rocks you see, smash the wall with a hammer, chip away with a pickaxe, and press space to switch between the two. Good luck now. Oh, one more thing. You can get another kick at the can if you're not successful in the first go if you have some blast powder on you. Watch and learn, my friend. I came prepared because I'm not exactly the most elegant miner. I just wanted the treasure. I have extra, so here, help yourself. Hey, five blast powders. Nice. Keep your eye out for these types of shiny rocks in the underground mine. There's tons of them. Alright, cool. Uh, looks like there's a couple up here. I'm going to wor work on these off screen. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. I went ahead, did some mining. Found some interesting stuff. Like, I think we got like a heart scale. Yeah, we got like a heart scale. Light clay, iron ball. Uh... I don't think we really got anything else useful. I did get a uh, a fossil. It was a sail fossil, which just got us another aurora. So, you know, that's a thing, I guess. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go to the Carlton Mine. Oh, it's Cameron. Yo, weakling! About time you, <laughs> you caught up to me. Spencer told me I have your next assignment for you. How's it feel to know I outrank you already? But wait, before I give you your briefing, let's have a quick battle. All right, four Pokemon. First up is Grotal. This is f you, you're a flying type, but you don't know a flying attack, dude. Why are you even flying type? I don't understand you. And you're gonna miss. I don't get why it's flying type. You're gonna use that. And you're gonna miss again, dude. What is the accuracy on hypnosis? It's apparently zero. 60 which means I should hit six out of ten times not miss six out of ten times dude god What That's fine, it's fine your citrus berry is not gonna help you now Grotal. Horsey, 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 horsey. This is fine. You're gonna get wrecked. Shouldn't that be a seizure by now, or does it evolve later? I don't know. Kadabra. This is fine. Prepare to be crunched. Prepare. He wasn't prepared enough. Surely was not prepared enough. Numel, Numel, Nemel. I'm gonna hit him with a brine. One shotted, fantastic. 36 for ice cube. That's a win for me. Ah, oh. ah, oh, no. Oh, all right. Well, I suppose I'll stop with holding your next assignment briefing for you then. All right, so here's the deal. Remember those infrared signatures that Spencer told you about that were coming from Stonecrest Woods? Well, there's apparently a few of them that the agency has been tracking throughout the Epoch region. They believe these infrared readings are coming from these soul stones, and they think this signature belongs to a Mr. Pierre Carleton, the owner of Amberforge Mine. So let me guess, you want me to befriend this Carl Carleton guy so that you can then ambush him and take him into custody too? Wrong. Spencer told me the agency is trying to get these Soul Keepers on our side. Convince them to side with us against Zerus. The agency believes that these Soul Stones are somehow connected to legendary or mythical Pokemon. Convince them to side with us. They're doing a bang up job of that so far. Did Spencer tell you he tased the last Soul Keeper and his shaman into submission? Really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> 
I should have figured a sociopath like you would laugh at that. The ends justify the means, I guess. Nah, Spencer told me they were going to use Mr. Carleton as well as the other Soul Keepers as bait. Bait? For Zerus? You bet. With all the technology and intelligence the agency has at its disposal, we can't just track down Zerus directly. We need to use the Soul Keepers as leverage to bait Zerus first. Beats me. Uh, my guess is if we could do that, we would have done it by now. I asked Spencer the same question. He used that security clearance cop-out to get me to stop asking questions. In any case, you have your orders, mate. Find this guy and convince him to come under our protection willingly. Oh, I almost forgot I needed to give you this. You might need it during your mission to the mine. Spencer informed me you're now security cleared to level 1, so you get this new toy to your pokey gear. I get a new toy? An Excadrill app. Uh, so it's for basically dig. Got it. I'm off now. Later, Slowpoke. Okay. Well, we got our next mission, I guess. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Something very wrong here. If I'm reading these gauges correctly, whatever caused the conveyor belt to stop has also sev sev severed the temperature regulation mechanism. We have a number of electric Pokemon that used to, that we used to charge our facility generators. Our instruments enable us to level the energy flow through when it gets too high. We can normally scale it back, but right now it seems as though the commands I'm issuing from this terminal aren't doing anything. Our electric type Pokemon charging the facility don't know any better, so they're continuing to charge up the facility. If we don't find a way to stop them, it could lead to an explosion. While I try to stall for time and reroute the load, I need you to manually faint our electric type Pokemon in each facility. You can catch them too if you want, but just do whatever needs to be done to make them stop charging the generator. There are six primary generator Pokemon in total. They are protected behind certain facility security measures to prevent unauthorized entry. The little ones in the basement of each facility don't drive as much power, so you can ignore them unless you want to catch them too. I have instructed the guards to provide you access to the facilities and to the conveyor belt. Please be careful on it. We don't normally sanction people to go walking up and down the belt. Uh, sure? If you beat me, you have to take... Wait, if I beat you, you have to take my shift. What? I didn't agree to this, dude. Why am I battling you? Hold on. Uh, shush, shush, shush. Flash, get him. Teach him a lesson. Yeah, that's right, intimidate him. Make him scared for his life. I like it. Now crunch him in the face. Perfect. Crunch him in the face too. Aw, oh, dude, he lived, not cool. It's fine, it's not gonna do anything, literally nothing. Big pile of nothing. Magnemite. Can I crunch that in the face? Or is that going to be resistant to crunch? It's not. I can crunch it in the face. But it's going to hang on with sturdy. Not cool, dude. Hit him one more time. Ah. <laughs> bah. What does this do? Nothing, apparently. Huh? Oh, the egg. Ooh, what is it? Epoch variant, maybe? Please? Oh my gosh! It's an Eomora! Wait, fair is it... Oh, is it gonna be Fairy Rock, dude? Ah, oh, please don't be... I... Ah, oh, I'd take Fairy Ice over Fairy Rock, dude. Please don't be Fairy Rock. Please, for everything that is holy, do not be Fairy Rock. I'm gonna name you Aura. Do not be Fairy Rock, please. I beg of you. Do not be Fairy Rock. Oh, God. It's level one? Oh, my God. It's Fairy Dragon! No! Oh, my God. You are so getting used. Boosted speed, lowered special def... No, wait. It's boosted special defense, lowered speed. I think that's decent. It's a, it's usually rocks. So I doubt it'd be that fast to begin with, maybe. 
I don't know. It has Cloud 9. Pokemon negates all weather effects in battle. That's pretty nice. Yo, Dragon Fairy. That is dope. What is that weak to? It still keeps its fairy weaknesses, right? So it's still weak to steel and poison. But it doesn't have a dragon weakness anymore. What else is dragon weak to? Fair okay, it probably still is weak to fairy. I don't know if fairy resists fairy. So it probably is just weak to fairy, poison, and steel. Which I'm okay with that, because those aren't very common types anyways. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. I can't even think. I can't even think right now, dude. I have I have a dragon fairy Amora on my team. Like, I can't even concentrate on what. What am I even supposed to be doing right now? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, what are we even? I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing. I guess we got to turn off the like electric stuff. There's a cave back there. Uh, are there Pokemon in here? I doubt it. Yeah, there's not. Okay. I found some Muma milk. That's pretty cool. Oh. So these are puzzles. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't want to catch any of these things unless they're Epoch variants. I don't really want to catch. They don't look like Epoch variants. There's a bunch of items down here, though. I got some normal gems. Got a pokey treat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I figure if they were epoch variants, they'd be different colors. Which none. I got a heart scale. None of these are a different color, so I doubt any of them are epoch variants. Okay, but, okay, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so it's a puzzle. Got it. So boom, 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 boom. I'm a genius. Ah, so I got to end there. Okay. All right. I didn't know I had to end it at that spot. All right. There we go. Yo, is that an Electros? Look at that thing, dude. I found a Dawnstone, too. Is this what we got to uh, stop charging? Possibly. I can't get over that. That Aurora is being used, dude. It's Dragon Fairy. Why wouldn't I use Dragon Fairy, dude? That is so cool. Like, is there even Dragon Fairy in normal Pokemon? I think Mega Altaria is Dragon Fairy, but that's Mega. It's only temporary Dragon Fairy. I don't know. Maybe if Gen 8 introduced one or Gen 7. Like, I don't know too much about those. Alright. Nice. Uh... Normal gem. Okay, I think we gotta exit on that X up there. So, we gotta do this. Boom. Genius. Lactabuzz, hi. You're a big boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. A light screen, that's fine. I'm gonna crunch you. I'm gonna do it again, just because I feel like it. I'm trying to learn Scald? Why? Sure, I'll take it, dude. Don't really need Dragon Rage anymore, I don't think, at this point. Alright, so I'm guessing there's two per building. Alright, uh... Yeah, there's one building there, and there's one building in the beginning that we need to get to. But I think I'll save the rest of these for later. For right now, I'm going to go heal at the Pokemon Center. I'm also going to go level up this god dang Amora, because that's level one. <laughs> and i got to get it up to par with the rest of the squad. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go do that off screen. So, yeah, I guess for now, I'm going to end this here. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connors. I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Soul Stones. I'm really pumped now that we have a Dragon Fairy on the team, dude. Yes, something I actually want to use. Thanks for watching again, and peace out.